Okay, this week in Python on hardware news, um, you can check out the patch release for MicroPython. Um, we're a sponsor and supporter of MicroPython. Um, we have a neat article that Ann put in there. It's a uh, crazy supercomputer comparison against the modern Raspberry Pi. Um, how does it compare up? We have, you know, if people want to build retro computers, we have a cool thinking machine yeah. build that uses a Raspberry Pi as the brain. So 1978, the Cray supercomputer cost $7 million and it weighed 10,000 pounds. And it was the fastest computer in the world. And now Raspberry Pi computer is about 70 bucks. And, um, you know, according to this article and more, I mean, there's, there's specifics that you have to look into, but it's about 4.5 times faster than the Cray one, which is kind of cool. Um, a little bit of recap from our, um, you know, pseudo editorial, um, where we talk about Arduino and uh, manufacturing and counterfeits and clones and all those things. Uh, interesting discussion. If you want to tune into it, it's from last week's show. And then um, more Python on hardware. There's Python on kids. You can look at the use of Python inside of Google Sheets. You can look at what the most popular programming languages are. What's um, so cool is how old they are. So assembly is 77 years old. Yeah. Fortran is 70. So it's like, it's interesting. It's like Fortran, like, which is still used by some people, is like ancient. Yeah. Like it really is. Um, and uh, a little bit of a recap of our shows and more. Lots of stuff in the playground. You can see your projects or others uh, in the playground. We'll talk about that with Learn. And uh, all together, a giant newsletter. I did want to talk about one thing which is it is 2024 um, where we're putting up the new graphics in this, but this is the start um, for circuit Python for every single year. We have a uh, post about um, circuit Python. So let me find the, um, I think I have it up here. Yeah. No, I didn't pull all the post up here. That's okay. Um, you can go to our blog and we'll also get the word out more and just search on any search engine and search for circuit Python. 2024 and you can see our post about this what type of things do you want to see in circuit python in 2024 what things do you want us to work on um what things do you want to see updated or changed um you know my big thing is now that we have an open source python powered camera i really want to see like maybe more stuff that we can do to expand that so that's my yeah oh i'll write that up more later but now's your chance everyone to um do uh your part which is um ask away Tell us. um yeah we're we're uh, nine versions in uh we'll talk about we have the the coming soon poster um we have the circuit python poster that we'll be yeah that we'll be putting in um store soon so we have nine versions and we'll probably have you know 90 more um 90 plus more uh depends on how long we want to you can't wait till circuit python is seven years old yeah 70 years old um and uh it's your chance. Yep. So check out the blog post. We'll uh, get the word out more. Scott's out. There's a family thing that came up. So we'll um, make some noise about it, you know, even more. You have plenty of time, but do check it out. This is all delivered to your inbox every single week. Spam free, adafruitdaily.com. We do not spam you. We do not want this part of your customer experience. So this is why it's a separate website. And it's on Adafruit Daily.